Okay, here's a little uh, hedgehog that I'm making. She's little face, five millimeter eyes. And then these are all twisted. Somebody's building a house next door. Twisted little pieces of um, wool. You see, I put it on here and then I put glue on it and twist it. And then I'll insert that like in here, right? I left wool on the end so that I can knit it into place like that. And I have the rest of the body to do. Excuse me. Oh, pardon. <laughs> Let's put that in there like that. Now see, I'll just trim that little, that little part off right there. But he's cute. I'm gonna put him in a frame. A little four by six frame. And um, that'll be my little hedgehog. They don't live in America. They're in New Zealand and other places. So this here I used uh, a little bit of this, those colors. I put black underneath, you know, on his body. And then I put the brown on top. And, uh, you know, his feet are small. That's the reference I'm working from. You know, I didn't really know how to make these spines, so I wanted it to be all wool. I thought maybe in the future I could use um, tips of toothpicks, but then that's not really wool. But I think he's kind of cute. He's almost like King Hedgehog with his crown here. King Hedgehog. He's cute. And there he is, see? And I'm only doing half the hedgehog because he'll be in his frame. And I should be finished with that later on today. And I'll show you how I do that. I'm gonna put in another one of these because you can see I've left the fur or that part's not glued. This part is glued. And I put it in in an offset pattern. So kind of like brick, you know. It's offset. And that way you don't have to fill everything up. Ow! I just poked myself. Okay. Now I'll trim that off. And then I'll stick some brown in between as well to kind of fluff it up. See, this is tighter. And this is more fluffy in here. Nice. Kind of want to turn that one to go that way. That's a good thing too. And they're nice and solid in there so they won't come out. I'm a purist. I wanted to use all wool. But maybe I'll try the toothpicks. But this is taking some time. And I hope I made 25 more and I hope to fill the back with that. Little hedgehog. Well, there it is. It's all put in the frame. Um, so you want to sign your name. Always sign your work. And then on the back, I sign what it is. I called it uh, King Hedgehog. Needlefeld sculpture, and then my signature and the date. Um, it's supposed to be a Magnus and Gordon sticker on the back of this piece of artwork, but uh, I guess that didn't happen. And uh, it's all done. So King Hedgehog ready for display.